After days of waiting, we finally have new information regarding the Hannah Mountain Flint Gap fire situation. These fires that were first spotted on August 26 went without an official statement from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park for several days while crews tried to contain the fire and investigate its cause. We first reported on the situation a few days ago, so if you haven't watched that video, feel free to do so. The link to that video will be in the description. But if not, here's a summary to catch you up as well. Smoky Mountains National Park crews are working on a small fire near Hannah Mountain. Officials say the fire is estimated to be around two acres in size and no structures are threatened right now, but they say they've ordered both aerial and ground attack resources. By the time updates arrived on the 27th, the fire spread to 10 acres. Here's that 10 clip. acre wildland fire is burning near Hannah Mountain. That is south of Abrams Falls in the Smokies. The Tennessee National Guard is helping dump buckets of water over the fire. It was first reported last night. Crews continue to help this afternoon. Again, we're talking 10 acres right now. Uh, Smoky Mountain Rangers say no buildings are threatened at this point. However, several camps and trails are closed due to the threat of fire danger. On the 28th, reports had the fire growing to 23 acres. Conditions in the area were very dry and humidity was low. Let's listen in. Wildfire in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park has now grown to 23 acres. Flames broke out Monday evening near Hannah Mountain, south of Abrams Creek. National Park leaders say they're bringing in more equipment to fight the flames. The Tennessee National Guard is also assisting. Several roads, trails and backcountry campsites are now closed because of that fire. Investigators are looking into what sparked it. However, the firefighters and Tennessee National Guard swept the perimeter of the fire and discovered they had previously overestimated its size. Check this out. The Flint Gap fire is now estimated to be 16.3 acres thanks to more accurate mapping. As we have been telling you, the fire in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park continues to burn. Firefighters were actually able to walk the perimeter to map it out. Today, crews continue to monitor the area and identify how crews can safely confine and contain the fire. The investigation into what actually started it, still under investigation, still underway. No buildings are threatened, fortunately, but several campsites and trails are closed. You can find more information about that on our website with this story at WATE.com. Then, for the next several days, it was crickets. We heard absolutely nothing from the Park Service with regard to the status of this fire. We were left with the images released on the first day of coverage. Many people who found our first video were commenting about wanting an update. In that interval, we contacted the park offices each day inquiring about new news. In each call, we received the same response. The fire is under investigation, followed by a list of closures due to the fire. And they stated that was all they could give us at the time. Speaking of the closures, the following remain closed due to potential fire danger. Backcountry campsites 14, 15, and 16, Parsons Branch Road, Rabbit Creek Trail from Abrams Creek to Cades Cove, and Hannah Mountain Trail from Parsons Branch Road to Little Bottom Trail. As we noted in the previous video, these closures were all happening in very close proximity to the Cades Cove Visitor Center. Of course, we'd rather not see fire damage anything, natural or man-made. But when fire starts to encroach so close upon all these historic structures, the vibe seems to build a bit in terms of intensity. And all this was further complicated by the fact that it was dry as could be here in East Tennessee and we were experiencing near record high temperatures. But finally, on September 3rd, we get our first update in a few days. Let's listen in. New at four, we're learning what sparked a wildfire in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Park rangers say a lightning strike caused it. These are new pictures from the Park Service. The fire was reported on August 26th near Hannah Mountain. Rangers are not sure exactly when it started. That fire has grown to 17 acres now. Rangers don't believe it'll grow much more in the next several days because of the high humidity and the lack of strong winds we're seeing right now. We do have some breaking news right now. Lightning is being blamed for a wildfire that we have been following for several days now. We're talking about the Flint Gap Fire near Hannah Mountain in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. According to a release from the National Park Service, lightning from a storm sometime late last month sparked the fire. Now, rangers can't say exactly when, only that the first report of the fire came on August 26th. That fire, still burning, 
and according to the Park Service, is now at about 17 acres in size. Now, with the current weather, the Park Service thinks chances are low for significant growth in the next few days. No buildings are in any danger, but uh, Parsons Branch Road, along with some trails and campsites, are still closed. So after days of waiting, we get some news. And it's good news. While the fire is still burning and is now covering approximately 17 acres, current conditions are not promoting fire growth. Increased humidity and even some rain has assisted fire crews. However, we still haven't heard anything regarding a percentage of containment of the fire. Hopefully, that news will come soon. So while we did get some good news, it's important to remember this area is entering a time of year when drought conditions frequently occur. If you plan to visit the Smokies in these autumn months, please be fire conscious. Be sure to check the weather and drought conditions. Burn bans occur regularly during these drought seasons, so please refrain from building campfires during these bans. If you build a fire, ensure the fire is completely doused once finished. Don't play with matches in our national park, which is pretty much common sense. And this last one goes for any time of year. Please don't dispose of your cigarettes in our forests. After all, the national park belongs to all of us. Oh, and I mentioned rain just a minute ago. Rain will be taking center stage in our next video, so make sure you tune into that as well. Right after the fire threat diminished, this happened. This is not good. For more information on this story or for tons of Smoky Mountain vacation information, be sure to check out our website, allaboutthesmokies.com. It is your comprehensive resource for all things Smoky Mountains. A link to that website will be in the description. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you made it this far, like if you liked it, comment if you're a fan, subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay too. Wow.